everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Dominique and today we will be talking about Tokyo Ever After by Amiko G. We'll now read the summary. It's not easy being Japanese American in her small mostly white northern California town. Raised by a single mother, Azumi or Izzy because it's easier the, this way has always felt it's been her and her mother against the world, but then Izumi discovers a clue to her previously unknown father's identity, and he's none other than the Crown Prince of Japan, which means unspoken, irreverent Izzy is literally a princess. In a world when Izumi travels to Japan to meet the father she never knew and discover a country she always dreamed of. But being a princess isn't all ball gowns and tiaras. There are conniving cousins, a hungry press, a scowling but handsome bodyguard who just might be her soulmate, and thousands of years of tradition and customs to learn practically overnight. Azumi soon finds herself caught between worlds and between versions of herself. Back home, she was never American enough, and in Japan, she must prove she's Japanese enough. Will Izumi crumble under the weight of the crown, or will she live happily ever after? I liked that Izumi wants to find where she belongs, um, I like her friendship with Akio, her bodyguard. I liked that I learned more about the Japanese culture in this book. I liked that this book was Pri Princess Diaries meets Crazy Rich Asians. I've read some of the Princess Diaries books and seen the movies. The movies are nothing like the books. I've watched the movie Crazy Rich Asians, but never read the books, and I think now I might. So, thank you, Spearcraft Book Box, for letting me try another book that I really enjoyed. I think other people might like this book. If you're looking for a young contemporary Asian literature, or you're, or you're just looking for a cute coming-of-age story, this book might be for you. So... If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. See you next time.